nefarious bear, demoted Sussex with leaking signs of no having their hands full after fallout. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's working life forms a stark comparison to the duties of working members of the royal family, according to reports. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from their responsibilities as senior royals in March 2020. The couple now lives in the U.S. with their two children, two-year-old Archie, and Lilibet, who turns one in June. Columnists Richard Kay and Barbara McMahon detailed what the couple have gotten up to since leaving the firm. In a piece for the Daily Mail they write, all in all, the couple's schedule hardly compares with the daily work of the royals they left behind. So might this indicate they have been busier in their private lives? However, the couple went on to say that seeing Meghan and Harry in their neighborhood is rare, and that the couple's public appearances have been few. After quitting the royal family, Harry and Meghan secured financial independence by securing deals with streaming giants Spotify and Netflix. The Sussexes linked their names to Netflix back in September last year, and yet, since then, have only announced two projects but none of their content has been published yet. Also since quitting duties, activism has formed part of the identity the couple have molded for themselves in California. The website for their Archul Foundation states each of us can change our communities. All of us can change the world and the pair have also been widely outspoken about themes including vaccine equity and more recently the Ukraine-Russia crisis. Two weeks after the couple's now infamous Oprah interview was aired, Harry was unveiled as Chief Impact Officer for Mental Wellness Sap Better Up, described as a platform for coaching and mental fitness in the workplace. Mental health is a topic Harry has widely spoken about, including in the Me You Can't See an Apple TV Plus documentary series focused on the importance of mental health. Harry spoke about his experience of trauma and how he'd had therapy to help aid his own mental well-being. Also, four days after the birth of their daughter, Meghan published her children's book The Bench, and hundreds of copies were given away free to schools and children's libraries across the states. Although it became a New York Times bestseller within a week of release, overall sales of the title are said to be disappointing. Also last summer, Harry announced that he was writing an autobiography, declaring, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born, sick, but as the man I've become. In February, the couple were awarded the prestigious President's Award that recognizes special achievement and distinguished public service. At the NAACP Awards. During their acceptance speech, the Duke discussed the very different upbringings he and his wife experienced growing up, before adding that they both share a commitment to a life of service. He said, I think it's safe to say that I come from a very different background from my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to combat injustice and a belief that the most often overlooked are the most important to listen to. In comparison, the royal family as a whole attends approximately 2,000 formal engagements each year, both in the UK and abroad. Working members of the firm assist the Queen in her various state and national obligations, as well as carrying out essential work in the areas of public and charitable service, and helping to strengthen national unity and stability, according to the official royal website. These duties can include official state responsibilities such as banquets, garden parties, state funerals or national festivities. The royal family also plays an important role in supporting and encouraging the public and charity sectors. Last year, Princess Anne was named the hardest working royal, followed closely by her brother Prince Charles as the royal family returned to a more normal schedule after Covid. The Princess Royal undertook 387 official engagements in 2021, just two ahead of Charles, 73, who carried out 385. The siblings have stepped up to take on greater responsibility in recent years, following the scaling back of the Queen's work and the loss of senior royals including the Sussexes and Prince Andrew, who quit after his BBC Newsnight interview in 2019. The Newsnight interview